welcome back to your new video in this video I am going to show you how you can create a random numbers in MATLAB so there are um, you know um, many times when you need to generate random numbers while working with your code so sometimes suppose that you want to analyze some algorithms and you want to generate your own data and you want to add some noise into your data to test your algorithms then at those places this random numbers can be very useful so random number functions have such uh, have many um, MATLAB functions such as rand, randn, randi and the rand perm so before that let me tell you um, how this uh, this is uh, you know affected by rng so you know um, let me show you help rng if you see this help rng so rng controls the random number generator used by rand rand i and the rand n so this rng seeds the random number generator using non negative integer okay so that means it has a uh, you know many type of random number generator such as a twister you know simd twister comb recursive mult fibonacci so these are the random number seed okay seed generator you can pass that into rng so the default is default if you type here let's say default so this is the default random generator and it takes this random uh, generator uh, you know random generator every time when you start your MATLAB so suppose that if you generate a variable with rand in with rand 2 by 2 that means it will generate a random number with a variable uh, you know 2 by 2 and suppose that if you once again set this rng to the default and you generate this random number you will see here the value of random gener random number generated value are the same but once again if you generate this value and you will see here these generated values are different but here you see when i reset that random number generator by using default it has generated the same value that means whenever you start your matlab it generates it starts with the same value right it starts with the same value so let me show you it one more time if you suppose that press here you know default and then again if you generate the random number you will see here this random number is the exactly same what we have got just after by setting it to the default value and now let's again if we generate it to the second value now we can see here the second value is exactly the same value as we have got as a second value so this is what i was talking about the seed so whatever you see you you give a seed to your random number generator it follow that pattern so in, in that sense you can say random number generator is actually not the true generator but but for the testing purpose it follows the random number generation and there is another function rand i which returns double integer value drawn from discrete uniform distribution so suppose that if you generate here b is equal to rand i so it generates from discrete uniform generator right so let's say 2 by 2 it generates a matrix b211 in the same way suppose that if you make it 50 if 50 is too large so let's make it 5 by 10 you will see here how this is you know uniformly generated so this is rand i and there is another function rand n which returns array of real floating point numbers that are drawn from a standard normal distribution such as c is equal to rand n and in this rand n suppose that if we want 10 cross 5 matrix then this is the floating point numbers and this is distributed okay now one more thing you might have noticed that if we generate only uh, uh, random number from the rand function it generates only positive values if we generate random numbers from this rand i it generates a, pos a values you know by a integer values if we generate random numbers using rand n it generates random numbers okay in positive and the negative in the floating point there is fourth which is rand perm function it creates random arrays you know integer values to have no repeated value 
that means suppose that if you want a random number which do not have any repeated value then let's see how it will act so suppose that r4 is equal to rand perm 15 cross 5 so in this matrix you will not get any you know you will not get any repeated value and this 15 uh, 15 says that the maximum value will be the 15 and there will be five elements so in that same way suppose that if you select here 10 you will get that maximum value is the 10 and there are five value in same way if you select here 10 then here you know it is distributed up to the 10 numbers and these are the distinct number but in this case suppose that if you make it less than 9 then what you will you get here you will get only 9 numbers since 10th number will be repeated that's why it will show you only 9 numbers so this is all about uh, you know the random numbers how you can generate and next we I'm gonna show you suppose that if you want to generate a number random numbers within some specific range let's say if you want to generate a random number between a equal to the 50 and b is equal to 100 then how would you generate so you can generate it very you know it, it's really very easy to generate you can do r is equal to b minus a that is 50 and then you can multiply this with the rand and rand is let's say we want 10 numbers right and then plus a and if you print it you will see here that now all the numbers are in between 50 and 100 right perfect now suppose that i had already shown you if you want a random integer then you can use rand i now suppose that if you want a random number with a normal distribution with some specific mean and the variance suppose that you want a mean of 5 and b that is the variance let's say in this case you want a 500 so in this case you can generate a random number uh, you know distribution y is equal to a then dot multiply a dot multiply will so here every number will be multiplied by a and let's take it 10 by 10 matrix let's make it only let's say 6 by 6 matrix then we can identify it 6 by 6 matrix and uh, after that we want to add here b right so this says that a and the b in between it will be you know the number will be in between 500 and it will vary by only five numbers okay five plus minus numbers and uh, after that let's calculate the mean of this and you will see here the mean of y mean of y is 500 so sorry this was the mean and this was the standard deviation and if you calculate here std standard deviation of this y you will get the standard deviation which is close to uh, standard deviation close to 5 and in that case you can get the mean of this standard deviation which is stdy and you will see here this is exactly close to the 5 so this is what I am talking about the standard deviation which will be almost equal to what we had defined there in a value so this is all uh, about the random number generators and um, in the next tutorial I will cover how you can do fast Fourier transform thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day Thank <music> you.